Download Tree It from this website in the description. Launch it. Left click to orbit, right click to pan, scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Use that little guy there for a size reference. On the trunk tab, change trunk length to your liking and change radius to your liking. Apply a trunk texture here if you need to do so. Go to the branch tab, increase the branch count, change the branch length if you want to. Click add branch, pick the preset roots. Increase the branch count, I recommend three. Increase the branch gravity so they go into the ground. Scroll up, add branches, preset knots, add one. Click on the leaf tab. Add leaves, but if this is for a game, don't overdo it. Increase leaf length and width if you want to. Now save the tree and export it as a film box. This next step is optional. I'm going to import the film box into Blender, which means I need to convert it from ASCII to binary, otherwise I'll get this error. Go to this website, which is in the description, to download the Autodesk FBX Converter. Add your FBX file right here and convert it to wherever you want. You can close the converter now. Continuing this optional step, go to Blender, import the tree, delete the leaves. Remove the material on the tree and right click shade flat if you're going for that low poly aesthetic. Feel free to decimate or remesh if you're going to sculpt. Make sure you have a decent computer for remesh though. I decided to decimate. After you're done with editing it in Blender, export again as FBX. Now go to your game engine. If you're going the no texture route like me, make a material, hold 3 and left click, double click the black box and pick a wood like color, then plug it into the base color. Screenshot this image. Crop it as small as possible without cropping out any of the white. Drag that into Unreal as a texture. Now make another material. This is your leaves. Tick the two-sided box, change the blend mode to masked, change shading model to two-sided foliage. Drag in the texture I gave you and plug it into opacity mask, not opacity. Hold 3 and left click, pick a nice color for leaves. Plug into base color, make a multiply node, plug the color into A and type 3 for B. Plug into subsurface color, save. Import the original FBX from Treeit. If you did the optional steps, import the Blender FBX as well and delete the trunk from the original tree at FBX. Delete the materials the tree imports with. Make a blueprint actor. Add two static meshes. Make one the trunk and one the leaves. Don't forget to add your materials to each static mesh and you're done. However, if you want the leaves to move in the wind, I recommend this tutorial to watch. The extra effect really goes a long way breathing life into your game. You can start watching from the 12 minute mark, as you have done all the previous steps.